Barry, and I want to introduce you to a great couple I met just a few days ago, and evidently they've known me a lot longer than I've known them uh, through Video Land. But anyway, I want to introduce you to John and Holly. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey. Uh, I also want to thank you for taking a few minutes, and um, tell us a little bit, guys, about how we met. It was just a phone call for me. It was a spur-of-the-moment phone call, right? Uh, and uh, I guess, uh, you, why don't you explain how this worked? Sure. We were in... Uh actually came on a vacation uh, we were down in Las Terrenas and we had watched the videos and we've been going back and forth for probably two years or so talking about Cabrera and wanting to visit and it being a potential spot for us to look towards retirement and I thought wow we're this we're an hour and a half away you know let's just uh, we'll give Barry a shout and see if you know see if we can connect and sure enough uh, we did and you were gracious enough for us to be able to come up here and, and spend a couple of days with us touring around. So um, it was awesome. Yeah. You enjoy, You both enjoyed oh it? Oh my gosh. It's, it's great. the best. It's, it's more than I would have wished for. What What would you tell uh, the people who are watching this video about, um, have you seen and learned, uh, you've been here several times, I know that, right? Yes. Have you been to many other countries together? Yes. Caribbean type yep. countries? Yes. Uh, I know... Uh, from getting to know you a little bit, that you do want to consider relocating to a little bit of a warmer climate from where you are back in the States and what have you, and you were already leaning to the DR, right. yes. correct? Yes, correct. And what caused you to lean to DR? Was it demographics? Was it the people? Was it What, what is it that, that you liked about over other places that you visited? The people. Yeah, a lot of it was the people. Um, you know, every time we've come here, which maybe nine or ten times now, um, we've had great experiences. We've made friends with um, the locals. Um, they've, they're very welcoming. Um, and for us, proximity to be able to get back to the States if necessary, it's, it's a simple plane ride. I mean, where it's easy. Yeah, very easy. Very plane easy plane ride. In five hours, we're, we're at our door, and um, which makes it you know, very simple should we have to go back for um, visit family or, or something that we need to take care of. But it really, it's the people for me, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, and this trip, you know, that we've been able to actually um, experience a lot because we've been out amongst, you know, into town and, you know, off resort and actually mingling with them. And it's been spectacular, you know. I mean, they've accepted us. They've they fed Very us. Welcoming. Yeah. We spent New Year's together with a great family that we just met out of the blue, and um, and we're with them till like one or two in the morning, just with their family um, at their restaurant. It was it was really great. Have, and you've always felt the same way too about relocating as you yeah. retire. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I, but I wanted something that had you know a very nice slow pace, but we still had the. Um, we still had the, the tropical feel, but yet it was slow paced. It wasn't too much, and this is perfect. This is it's paradise. It's almost like you don't want to tell people about it because it's yeah. just so beautiful. You know, like I seeing it all the times in the video is nothing compared to all the rides through the amazing countryside that we did. Well, I appreciate that you know? uh, you've been a long time fan of ours, I yeah. guess. <laughs> a subscriber, you said you watched them. Many, 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 I think we've seen them all. There's not many we haven't. If there are, I'd be shocked. Be honest, yeah. is it better, worse, or than the films and everything? Is it oh, way so better. better? So much better. I, it, yeah. You can't, what you see on the films is very informative, but when you come here and experience it, it's... It just, it's spectacular. And some of those beaches, you were, you're walking down these little little quarry ways and then it opens up to this magical, mm. untouched, beautiful, like your eyes couldn't take it in enough beach that's just beautiful. Like beyond anything you'd see, I don't think anywhere else in the world. What's your experiences, both of you, about uh, people, uh, you know, playing the fear game on you and, you know, don't leave the hotel and don't do this, only that's use that true. cab and all. How do you feel about that? You know, we've been around together. I guess we covered a couple hundred miles here and there, all the way around, or a hundred miles, whatever, in a couple of days. Um, you know, I've took you a fair bit of back roads in the middle of nowhere, and pretty much, how did you feel? Never felt once that I was ever afraid or frightened or nothing. I wouldn't ever go out by myself or anything. Do you find Cabrera is a different town than 
very different. Almost anything you've seen in yeah. your nine times here? Yeah. Absolutely, Absolutely, because it's local, you know, it's not a tourist town, so it's, the feel is very different. The, the intermingling yeah. of, of expats and locals is, you know, it's like they work together. And it's not, it's just totally different than being in a tourist driven. I mean, they were just waving to us, just driving by. <laughs> they would yeah. just see us and just wave to us and yeah. talk to us through the windows, through the, you know, going through the little town. You know, like that's pretty. Yeah. You can't make that up. That's not something you can, you, you can't, you can't act that. Like that's something that either is inherently in the people or, or not. And it's obviously part of this culture. That I never in. asked you this, Holly, though, but John did tell me some of his friends, and I'm, I don't know if they're mutual friends or just your guy friends or whatever, but just tell a little bit to the, uh, on camera about to the ones who, while I've always said they mean well, but about the ones, what are you, crazy going to <laughs> Right. What, what, do you, what do you say to people like that? Uh, um, I think they, need, they, they haven't experienced it. So if they haven't, like there's different ways to everything all over the world and if you don't take time to experience it then you make time to make time you know and I think that's the most important thing you know and you've got to do it I mean it's yeah. and I think they they fear that because of what they hear you know on the news and which everything you hear on the news you hear more into the negative and the positive you're not right. going to come do a news broadcast on how wonderful and how nice the people are because that's not what they do, right? I mean, it, it's everything is negative. And so, I mean, we don't say much except, you know, we just sort of take it with a grain of salt and we kind of smile about it, yeah. you know, and we say, you know, well, and maybe what we've done is we, we document what we're doing and with pictures and we're posting so they see, you know, we posted pictures from when we, when we were with that Dominican family at their restaurant and showing how we're interacting. Holly's having fun with sparklers and holding the baby and and say, look, this is, it, you know, this Did is what you help? Did that have an effect on them I where think, they saw a different... I think so. Uh, I, I think that really does yeah. because all of a sudden, you know, it goes from... Well, be careful to, well, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> you know? oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. I love watching your travels. Love watching there. your travels. Yeah. yeah. Keep posting. We love, we're, yeah. uh, what one of our friends said, yeah. we love living our best life vicariously through you guys. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Wow. Which, which is sad because wow, anybody could. Is. Anybody <laughs> it's could, nice, but it's sad. Nice, but sad <laughs> right. Because yeah. anybody can do this. Just. Just We've do been it. talking a lot about that right? over the last two days, so yeah. you kind of, yeah, you know, you're you're actually preaching to the converted, <laughs> right? right? Yeah. But I'm I'm saying a lot of that to you, right? To That's you right. Guys. Yeah, it's yeah. true. It, it is a truth. It, it is a truth. Uh, many countries, and I've said it in many of my videos. Anybody who wants a list of some that I've spent time in that I think would be suitable, if they're willing, would you agree with what I'm about to say? If, when I told you as a joke, look at me as a GPS. I said, if you're mm -hmm. going to give me accurate information about yourselves, mm -hmm. we'll be three square feet right. from where you want to be. But yep. if you're going to give me BS, we'll be in Puerto Rico together. That's right. right. I'm only <laughs> listening to what you tell me. Right. 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 What would you say the way I describe this? Am I real? Do I sugarcoat it? Do I tell it like it is? Or no, because negative or positive, you say it all. That's, and you've told us yeah. everything, both sides of it. So we're looking at it with clear eyes not rose colored glasses you know like we can make a decision that's best for us based on what you've showed us not what you've told us but both some of the other couples and people you have met and are it's only two days you weren't with mm -hmm. a full excursion but two right. days uh, was that helpful that you got maybe now a few names and numbers? Oh, oh and, yeah. And did you feel welcome? Did that take oh. a lot of, a little bit of fear or stress? I don't want to use the words maybe the wrong fear and stress, but did it make it more like this is doable? I could see this yeah. now. I, well, I could see us in the home that we went into that there was an, there was another couple that you had the house for that I was like I could live here. I could totally do like this is beautiful. Yeah. This is exactly what we want and they did you know? exactly what we want to do and they've done it and they're happy yeah um they invited us into their home they Ugh. took us for a tour it, it was spectacular we we're just turning around in the driveway um, and next thing you know we're all having rum and looking at the views right I mean, that's and exchanging numbers and, yeah. and keeping that's in contact fantastic. Like, for, and we just met them i mean and it, it was great before yeah. we cut it off because i don't like to impose too much on that but 
Is there any kind of, not, I don't like to use the word advice, but is there any kind of suggestion or idea? You two have some wisdom because you've got hands-on experience of traveling to look at your retirement plans and how to put this together. Would you think, what can you tell others that maybe, I, I like to use the term on the fence post, they want to do something but either fear or a closed mind is keeping them back from it. It's not the finances, it's not the health, it's not any of the above, it's just being on the fence post. What can you say to people like that that may help them, and I don't mean to come to see me, I just mean in right. terms of them fulfilling what they want to do in their later years of life. That to get them off the fence post, to get them to, go, to do it, like Nike says, do just do just it. Just do it. What, but what, what can you do? Is there anything you, that, that maybe got you off the fence post initially, if there was any fear or anything like that? Because I, I, I don't wrestle with it. I, I bring people here, and after our excursion, you're only not even a half excursion, and you've already said, like, oh, oh my yeah. God, this is night and day difference than yep. tourist places. Right. But, but, but what can you say to somebody that's itching to do something, but yet is still afraid to do it? Do it. Just yeah, do it. Just anyway. do it. Well, I think... The, f I mean, the fear comes from the unknown, I right. think. And it's the unknown that people fear. And the, on yeah. the only way it becomes a known is to go and find out. Right. Right? I mean, you. and so and, what and does it hurt not, to come yeah. and look? Yeah, I'm, right? I'm uh, having that a strong feeling that we're going to be seeing a couple more neighbors. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be hard to leave. I'm telling you, I'm going to have a real hard time getting on that plane. When And when I left, I was, you know, worried about work and this and that and now I'm like I'm worried about I don't want to leave like when are we coming back like what like I don't it's it's a good feeling it's very it feels very comfortable here you know and, and you I love it like yeah. I there's nothing to I mean you can you can close down a lot of fears by just taking a step and coming and looking and and sure. you and a lot of that will you'll leave I mean you'll just yeah. leave it yeah, and, and, and I mean, it's, it's, it's false fear, too, because there's B&Es in every country, there's, right. there's crime in every country, and, and, and you know, but I, th I think people, like you said just a moment ago, do it, like, the, like I say, the Nike mm -hmm. thing, I guess that's the only way to get wisdom is hands-on right. experience, yeah. right? And to see it with your own eyes, and to, and to drive through places that you would be living, or you'd be driving to the grocery store, like I could see where we would go to get groceries, I could see where we would go to have breakfast, I could see... If you had a chance you know? to get out of Las Terrenas and in spend the balance second. of your time <laughs> here, you in a second. Yeah. In a oh, second. yeah, we would not be leaving. We would not here. be leaving, yeah. no. Yeah. No, this is special. And well, I, I mean, uh, I, 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 uh, before I say, you know, I'm thanking you again for your time, uh, but is there any last words you could say to anybody who might be watching this before we cut camera or anything like that? I mean, uh, is, is there any what you've learned, your wisdom, any last few couple of words of, of wisdom you might want to share with anyone? I think if you're on the fence and you're thinking about doing something like this, um, you don't have to do the norm or what everybody does to retire. You can do what's good, right for you, not what's right for everybody else around you. Mm -hmm, if this is mm -hmm. something that's special to you or you feel, you know, like come and see if this is what, go out of the box, see if this is something for you and try it, you mm -hmm. know, and I don't know, for us, I can't imagine I can't imagine being somewhere else, like, and not seeing these kind of views every day. Like, this is magical. It's a know? pretty accurate uh, little joke I say about Cabrera to describe it would be like Mayberry, RFD, yeah. Andy, yeah, and Mayberry right. with yeah. internet. <laughs> Absolutely it's pretty true. close, isn't it? Is. Yeah, it's Absolutely. totally like that. Hey, John, Holly, I really want to thank you for taking 10, 12 minutes with me thank and uh, helping maybe some other people. It's our so. pleasure. Yeah. Our pleasure. Just do it. Right? Yeah. Just do it. Just do it. Come down. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's been a pleasure, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks.